Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. I saw this game a couple of weeks ago when Total Biscuit was streaming it. I thought I'd quite enjoy it so I bought the game. Played it a couple of times. Um, haven't done too well. Uh, I'm going to see if I can change that now. Hopefully do better. Hello there, it seems you've already played before. You can get right into development and skip the tutorial messages. Note you can always review tutorial messages, even the ones you have skipped, in the help menu while you play the game. Um, I'm not going to skip because people who have not played this game before may want to see them, so I'm not going to skip. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Okay. Before you start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Hmm, what should I call my company? Um, well, I'll play a name, I can know that. It is Jimbo Spike. Company name, what should my company name be? Um, let's look around for some inspiration. How about Pen Top Pen Top Pen Top Interactive? Got some settings here. Game length. Um, fast pace recommended. Thirty-five years. Only do recommended. Let's close that. Let's see, change our head. What head should we have? Let's have a bright red hair. And what clothes should we wear? Hmm, I think, no. A dark greyish green top, I think. Let's continue. Um, choose save slots. You see, I played a few, did a test about an hour ago. Um, choose slot one. Override the game. Why is the tutorial not coming up? I'll develop a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Uh, okay. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Uh, okay. Uh, must pick a platform first. We're going to bring it out on the PC. It'll be cheaper. Genre. Um, let's do a strategy game. I like strategy, ja strategy games. Um, pick topic. Um, let's do military. Game name. What should the game name be? It was a military strategy. Um, let's call it boot camp. Let's click next. Um, we should do 2D graphics. Start development. Some bugs. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game and greatly increases the points you generate. Okay. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay. Um, let's see. It's strategy, so we don't really need anything in stories and quests. Actually, I might lower that all the way. Um, definitely want a lot in gameplay. And engine, engine. Um... How good do we want the engine to be? Let's put it back here, I think. Okay. He's scratching his head. Not doing any work. Losing money. Game development has now started. 
While developing your game, you will generate game points which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Okay. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released and increase development time and cost. Um, we don't need anything in dialogues really. Um, level design needs to be good. That's for a lot in artificial intelligence. Okay. Some research points as well. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases in cost. You also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay. Um, or oh, a lot in graphics. Um, sounds not that important, I don't think. World design, not that important. Okay. Development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but first you, do, first you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing the bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay, well I can afford to wait right now. Okay, let's release the game. We've got another bubbling technology. The development of your first game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is complete, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. experience in engine and gameplay, story quests, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphics and sound. Well, I've got most points in gameplay by the looks of things. Let's release the game. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. You finish your first game. While you develop the game, you also gain research points up here. Um, you can use these points to unlock new options for future games. To bring up the research menu, close this message, then click on anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, well, let's research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try and save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Okay. Hints, try to develop games with different topics and genre combinations for a slight research research boost. Um, let's research a new topic. Let's do let's do racing. Start the research. First reviews for a newly released game, Boot Camp came in. Five has its moments. I've seen better. Military and strategy is a great combination. Thank you, Game Hero. Quirky, but good. Okay. Pentop Interactive, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Boot Camp. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Pentop Interactive are sure to gain fans quickly. There's our sales. Boot Camp sold 4,656 units in the first week on the market. We made it in the charts at 49. That's not bad. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen up here. Okay. Boot Camp was so successful, we now have 37 fans. Nice. You have six successfully researched a new topic, racing. Woohoo! 
Well, let's create a new game, shall we? Um, let's see, platform. Let's do the G64. Pick a genre. Um, action. Pick a topic. Um, medieval. Medieval action. No. Um, let's do racing simulation. Let's call it um, racing game. Um, let's call it Wheels of Fury. Next. 2D graphics. Start development. Um, let's put a little bit in stories and quests. Um, gameplay needs to be good. Engine, not so much. Okay. Still getting money from Bootcamp. Ooh, Bootcamp has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Pentop Interactive. Okay. And we're still selling some. Um, AI needs to be good, level design, um, sync, 2D graphics, not so much, dialogues, we'll keep it low. Okay. Um, let's see, world design, boost that a bit, sound, let's boost that as well, graphics, yeah, we'll keep it high. Work out the rest of the bugs. Bootcamp is now off the market. It sold 12,254 units, generating 85,806 in sales. Very nice. We recent market studies suggest that the Govador 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Okay. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. I doubt that very much. <laughs> okay. Let's finish the game. 11 in both. It's a new record. New topic, new combo, and great combo. Need to level up gameplay and artificial intelligence and graphics. And Jimbo Spikes need leveled up as well. One more game should probably do that. Let's release the game. First reviews for our new re newly released game, Wheels of Fury, came in. Have seen better. Their focus on gameplay served this game well. Oh, very well. Quirky but good. Again. Fun at stages. Uh, that's not too bad. Better than average. Let's close that. Let's research something. It's a new, new topic. Let's do fantasy. Let's start the research. Hi there. Just finished Wheels of Fury and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and we'll see if I have some work for you. Jason. Okay, thank you very much. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Well, I know for a fact that I can't do that while researching, so I'll wait until that's done. You have successfully researched a new topic, fantasy. Whoo! Let's find some contract work. Contracts are a useful tool to earn some extra cash when your balance is low and can also be used to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss a deadline for a contract, you will have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Okay, well that one seems fairly big. Play test or debug program. Um, 
Let's debug the program, I think. Let's accept that contract. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. Come on, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? We might do. Yeah, I think we got it. Yay! Success! We will transfer 16,000 to your account. Thank you very much. Jason here. I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Okay. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for its widely successful arcade game, Dinky King. So, Nintendo and Donkey Kong. Okay. Many, many industry experts doubt that homing game consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Okay. Well, let's let's develop a new game, shall we? Uh, platform. Let's do PC genre. Let's do a RPG, and we should do fantasy. Seeing we just unlocked that. Let's call it uh, Fantasy RPG. Um, hmm. King. Kingmaker. Let's call it that, shall we? It costs 15,000 to start development. And the next one is 10,000 for 2D graphics. Let's start that. Okay, well, it's an RPG, so we definitely need lots of in story and quests. Gameplay needs to be quite high, I think. Engine, not so much. Okay, let's do that. Stop scratching your head and get back to work. And empty your bin while you're at it. Um, need a lot of dialogues. Artificial intelligence, not so much, and level design. Um, put that down a bit as well. Just bump it up a bit, actually. Okay. We was the furious now of the market. It sold 15,978 units, generating 111,881 in sales. Nice. Well, we definitely got a bit more money. Um, I think graphics, not so much. World design, yes. Sound, we only got basic sounds, so mm, let's bump it up a bit. Let's put it there. See how well this one does. I think we're beating our record. Let's just work out these bugs. Today, an inventor has confirmed recent rumours and announced that their plans to release a new gaming console called the TES early next year. The console features cartridge based games and uniquely designed controller. Well, I never had one of them so I don't know what it's called. That's okay that. Come on, work out them bugs and come on. Yes, one more bubble and finish the game. New record! Woohoo! New topic, new combo, great combo. Engine leveled up, gameplay leveled up. Ooh. Ooh. Level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphics. Engine with spike. Well, lots of stuff leveled up there. Let's release the game. <laughs> 